My name is, is Samantha Ro Robler, and I'm a sophomore in Lincoln High School. You know! And this poem is called Timelines. Amidst the books made windows through time that I keep on the bottom shelf of my bookcase, I found a small piece of laminated paper. You had taken the mantra you'd fed to me and fix it in black ink on purple cardstock. Elementary school me would have loved anything had it been purple. In fun, swirly font, you type the words, when I speak, I must remember to. Pause. Take a breath and start over. But the thing is, you didn't mean when I speak, you meant when I stutter. Each week we met in a small room on the big kid's side of the school. I called you my speech teacher, but your patronizing prescriptions did nothing more than further frustrate me as I listened and obeyed, but to no avail. Just breathe, you told me, but if oxygen had been the only thing st standing between me and fluency, I'd have worn a cannula in my nose for the rest of my life. But lack of oxygen was never my problem. I never had a problem. My voice was and never will be a record you can fast forward through to get to the good parts of my speech impediment, not a roadblock. You can simply take a detour around. Why are my words nothing more than speed bumps on your daily drive to work? Why does everyone feel the need to avoid this? I kept this piece of laminated misguided guidance. When I found it, I wanted to, I, I wanted to toss it, burn it, hurl it into space. I wanted it gone. It had suffered nothing more o over these years except for the slight fading of its once vi vibrant hue. Unlike the views of my stutter, which you were there to do away with, have done much more than have a color shift. But have escaped the spectrum altogether, now existing somewhere which we cannot see with our eyes, but which I can feel when I place my hand over my heart and listen to the cadence, the only rhythmic thing about me. If I spoke as steadily as my heart beats, the sounds that came out would not be my own voice. Who wants to speak as mundanely as the metronome on the mantle? On a bulletin board on my wall, I keep a picture of me on a stage. And the smile that I have on my face is enough to tell me how far I've come since the piece of paper in my hand was anything more than an artifact, telling tales of times long past. So I push a pin through the plastic coating and hang it alongside that picture and create a timeline of my old making. Woo!